going into 19 March. And uh, we played this last week or the week before, uh, did really well. So I decided to take some of the profits and roll into uh, the earnings. And remember, I don't play earnings unless we made profits on the name. And that's kind of what we want to do, right? We want to catch the uh, breakdown into ER and then ride it up. And then it usually comes back and settles right before uh, ER. And in this downtrend, we would expect from the bounce here for price to reach up to the 50, the bell curve of uh, pivot high to pivot low. And you can see here, price did come up to the 50, even touched 61.8, pulled back, uh, and then retested the 50, broke through, and now resting above the 50. Uh, I would expect uh, earnings is on Tuesday, I believe, uh, probably after hours. Don't quote me on that. Can't seem to get this to pop up because I got too many lines in the way here. But um, so I'm looking for if we can break above the 61.8 here, I do expect a price to get up into the 88.6 at 269.72. Uh, currently trading at 252. Would, would like to see a test of the uh, 61.8 in the next two days. But again, overall market trend, we'll see how uh, things fare for FedEx. Um, I do have some some targets here and the T1 being at the uh, 50 is where we hit uh, going into a week ago. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Um, so we're going to change this up a little bit. The T1 will actually be um, the 61.8, which also falls in line with a uh, very small cell zone here. OK, so we'll go with that. And then T2 is actually going to be your 88.6. And T3 obviously coming up here and test and pivot high at 275. All right, so on a strong beat, I do expect price to fall somewhere in between these two here, uh, the, the 256 and 263. And then on the downside, I'm looking for a uh, buy zone. And I can tell you that <clears throat> we have a, a small one here at 242. So coming into earnings I would expect 242 which just happens to be right around here around the 23.6 that box is deep uh, by 235 okay so I'll go ahead and throw this on there real quick so it looks something like this all right and then t2 on a bad bad earnings report I do expect a, a test down here at least 88.6 of this candle So price to fall somewhere in between T1 being 238, T2 being 227 by 226, okay? We won't talk about T3. Uh, if it goes further than that, lights out for FedEx, okay? And uh, I just have a really hard time believing that FedEx is not going to do well this, this time. But disclaimer, uh, ERs are very, very risky. Uh, but, you know, let's think about Amazon in this situation, right? Amazon's growing like crazy. We know that FedEx is a big uh, component of that, uh, as well as UPS. All right. So I am bullish the name. Uh, hence the reason why I, I drop profits into calls going into uh, next week. Um, all right. So big play coming up on Tuesday. We'll watch and see what happens. And again, uh, these are very risky going into earnings.